Welcome. In front of me is a Huawei Mate 11 or Mate Pad 11. And today I will show you how to go through the setup of this device. So this is their new tablet that is running Harmony OS instead of just a typical Android 11 or something like this. So anyway, once you put it up for the first time, you should be presented with this wonky looking uh, language selection. Uh, Huawei, if you're listening, this is bad. Just bring back the list, don't try to be special or anything. Uh, I personally saying don't like this. Uh, so anyway, find your desired language, which I will be sticking with the default one that was already selected. And as you can see this bubble, but what you do is just... Oh boy, it also switches places. Oh my... Why? So once you find it, I can then select get started. And from here, choose your region, obviously. In terms of use, no device can go without it, so select the first one that you have read and agreed the user license agreement, and you can proceed further with connect to a network, which uh, for some stupid reason it is a requirement. Why the F is this a requirement? Well, what are you trying to be like Samsung? So even though this device isn't locked, because I did a reset through settings, and uh, additionally, uh, I don't think it had like any kind of protection on there set, so there is no reason to need to actually log into uh, Wi-Fi because there is no need to verify anything. It's still a thing. So yeah, uh, go figure. that we have connected to, uh, for some reason, obligatory uh, Wi-Fi connection, we can proceed further with our setup. So we have data privacy. Uh, honestly, it looks like there's no other option but pressing next and basically agreeing to it, but you have an entire list of things that you basically agree to. So anyway, let's go to the next page. Activating device, uh, Huawei ID. So obviously by logging into the Huawei ID, we'll get access to a couple different things that are provided right here like App Gallery Cloud, uh, PIP Hotline, why? Uh, we have Huawei Videos, um, member discounts and whatever. Uh, so honestly, probably the most important one here uh, and the only reason why you would probably use Huawei ID uh, is for the App Gallery. Uh, this device is basically right now a blatant copy of iOS. Uh, with everything that iOS does in a way. Uh, even the entire operating system looks like it. So to download any kind of apps, you need uh, Huawei ID, which is basically Apple ID. Uh, go figure. Uh, so you can download any apps. The rest of them, I probably wouldn't care. Maybe cloud, if you want to use or store things on the cloud. But everything else on here, it's kind of redundant, like the uh, Huawei videos. Why the hell would you use those? Just download a better video player from the app gallery. Now, on the next page, we have uh, the Huawei ID, like I mentioned. Uh, so if you don't want to log into it for now, uh, for whatever reason, uh, you can do it by basically, again, like you would do on any kind of iOS, you would select here, don't have or forget it, and you will have the option to sign up later into it. Exactly the same as, as iOS has. So select leave. And again, they also do the same uh, manipulative tactic of like switching the options around, so it confuses people. Uh, but yeah, uh, nice. I just I kind of don't like that. Anyway, uh, this brings us to some uh, media services. Uh, enable Huawei video service and enable Huawei uh, book services. So uh, I assume, okay, there's a couple more. So I assume either it's just their apps or some kind of it looks like it's just some kind of apps, so I'm gonna select later. When you try to open those apps, it will most likely prompt you with this thing to agree to whatever the heck that is anyway, so it doesn't really matter if you agree to it here or not. Then we have Huawei Mobile Services. Uh, now these are the blatant uh, little red flags right here that I have. So we have uh, Ad ID Statistics, Personalized Ads. Uh, those are the two that I absolutely despise. Um, so number one, the ad ID statistics, just what is it? When enabled, uh, your information will be used to evaluate and improve 
uh, the performance of your whatever no uh, it's basically uh, whatever you do we know and we'll try to uh, spam you with whatever the heck you are looking for or whatever it is that you're doing um, yeah don't have personalized ads again basically the same thing uh, spies on what you search for and then basically gives you ads based on that so yeah uh, both of them are a big no-no for me i personally hate spying trash like this so yeah i'm gonna disable them not sure how much actual effect it will have but yeah at least i won't have ads based on whatever i'm searching for now and lastly we have the uh auto update so uh, if you want have it on if you don't honestly just a matter of preference then we have device protection so we have two different ways of going about it we have face recognition Okay, there is actually a camera, I didn't see it. Uh, so we have face recognition and also pin pattern or password. Now, if you're planning to use face recognition, you will also be required to set one off uh, pin pattern or password, whichever one you choose. Uh, but I'll be going just with a pattern right here. So select it. And there we go. And it's now set. And right here brings us back to the last option that is left, which is the uh, face recognition, but you can simply skip it if you don't want to set it up. I have enhanced services, so again, some more uh, weird stuff. i read it if you are interested in it. Obviously, I'm not, so I'm gonna select no thanks. Uh, user experience improvement programs, no thanks. Later, share analytics, yeah, definitely not. Uh, location services, uh, this will be used for, for instance, like GPS tracking. If you are using whatever the equivalent of here is of Google Maps, I, I actually have no idea. And uh, what is it? location services use global navigation satellite system uh, position network information so it also uses wi-fi cellular bluetooth uh, and ip to track your location so again if you don't want this you can disable this but like i said uh, maps will require this most likely keep your software up to date uh, now this is another uh, amazingly annoying thing we have enable and continue but if you want to not enable and continue you have to press right here update manually and then uh, I, uh, completely uh, contradictory to what you might think you want to select don't enable um, which you selected enable manually and then you selected don't enable uh, but if you read the entire message it says uh, it basically makes sense then now lastly we have some petal search which is equivalent of google search uh, i assume if you select accept it just goes through a setup like uh, voice training and stuff like that but i'm not going to be going over this and then we have data import so this is actually a fairly uh good part right here so if you have an old device you can basically copy all the apps and the data from your old device to this one and additionally uh, this can be done also past the setup so what you can use this for like the uh, what is it Huawei where is this setup is new move data from another device you use like this uh, phone clone application it's basically the same thing which you can download on Android and though you need to go to the website because the app isn't accessible on Play Store so once you get that app uh, what you can do is basically download any kind of app on your old device uh, that will be only exclusive to Play Store and then basically import it using that program over to here uh, even though the device device doesn't have it on app gallery and you shouldn't be able to download it you can basically import it like that easily so just a little tip for the people that might be interested in this but anyway i'm setting it up as new so that's what i'm going to be choosing with and we have uh, a new navigation gesture so let's not go ahead of ourselves gesture navigation isn't new it's been out for like five years and giving us the guide after five years is a little bit annoying so yeah i'm gonna just close it i'm pretty sure every one of us knows how to use uh, gesture navigation so we can now finish and there we go, we have now our uh, iOS clone home screen. So yeah. So uh, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.